Hi all, welcome back to my system well log sessions. So in this session I am going to discuss about packed array, unpacked array and dynamic array. So till now we have discussed what is array and what is fixed size array and single dimensional and multi dimensional array. So in this session we will understand what is packed and unpacked array first. Okay, so before before we moving to forward, first we will understand what is scalar and vector. Because when we are talking about packed array, this vector comes into picture. So scalar means it's a single bit data object. Okay, the width is single bit. It's a single bit data object of reg type or logic type or bit type. It is declared by without specifying a range. In um, in scalar, we will not specify the range it's a single bit always scalar okay packed means it's a multi bit data object which is of reg type or logic type or bit type it is declared by specifying the range when we are talking about vector the range we, we are talking about range okay so then what is the difference between vector and uh, arrays a vector is a single element single element okay a vector is a single element that is that can be n bit wide so the um, width can be n bit but in arrays it is a multiple elements right array is a array is used to store the multiple elements which is of one bit or n bit wide so that is the difference between vector and array so we will now see what is packed and unpacked array a packed array refers to the dimension mentioned before the variable or object name this is also known as the vector width so in packed array this is also same as array only why we are called it as packed or unpacked because of the dimension how we write the dimension so if we declare the dimension before the variable name it's called a packed array okay because the packed array why we are calling packed array means it's a set of contiguous bits like memory allocation is always a continuous set of information that is accessed by an index here you can see in the picture here see array of 0 array of 1 array of 2 we are storing it continuous contiguous manner right so this is packed type packed array 3 2 1 0 this is packed and we are um, we are storing it linearly in contiguous manner we are storing in a single uh, dimension only uh, single dimension only we are storing the elements packed array see if you see the syntax you can understand better here see data type this is the vector width and array name so this is the dimension this is the statement what it is a packed array refers to the dimension mentioned before the variable this is the dimension mentioned before the variable name so that is called a packed array bit 5 down to 0 p array so since it's a single dimension array right here we don't have anything so it's a packed array which is of 6 bit data so 0 1 2 3 till 5 0 to 5 it's a single bit single dimensional array that is called a packed array because the dimension is before the object name of the data type in bit okay so this is packed array and unpacked array is it refers to the dimension mentioned after the variable or object name so dimension will be mentioned after the variable name so memory allocation may or may not be a continuous set of information here the memory allocation may be a continuous or may not be a continuous set of information here also it's a continuous set of bits only but here the un it is unpacked not pa packed okay the array of 0 array of 1 array of 2 is not packed in uh, linearly it is not stored for array of 0 it's one set of continuous bits for array of 1 it's it's a separate you can understand in picture see array of 0 it is one one row array of one it is one row array of two it's one row so even though the bits inside the array is packed but the array of zero array of one it is not packed okay it's unpacked so if you see the syntax you can understand same as packed only but here the dimension of the array dimension is declared after the variable name after the variable name is what array name after the array name we are declaring we are declaring the or we are mentioning the on uh, dimension 5 down to 0 c okay here bit p array of 5 down to 0 i will tell you the difference between this statement and this statement what's the difference here is the first one bit p array of 5 down to 0 means array size is 6 here okay so array size is 6 but each of one bit data because here it's a scalar see it's a scalar here it vector is there this unpacked array here nothing is there now here i'm pointing c 
here it's a single bit data but in this second statement bit 2 down to 0 prf 5 down to 0 this is unpacked data because we are both are unpacked only because here it's scalar it's a vector i told you right scalar is a single bit width vector is a multi bit width okay here width is mentioned this statement means it is of a 6 bit only 6 bit uh, 6 uh, size okay size of an array is 6 but in each index um, the data is 3 bit data 3 bit data means what 8 till 8 2 to the power 3 8 okay size is 8 we can store up to 8 8 means we can store 8 or 7 or 6 or this kind of values you can store like this okay so here only 0 or 1 even though the array is 6 size you can store only 0 or 1 because here single bit it's a scalar either 0 or 1 but in vector means what it's a set of bits so multi bit 2 down to 0 means 3 0 1 2 right so 2 to the power 3 8 8 or 7 or 6 or 5 or 2 like this you can store but here only 0 or 1 you can store this is the difference but both are unpacked array only because after the variable name we are declaring the dimension so when we are talking about packed or unpacked array the how we um, how we mention the dimension that matters so if you are mentioning the dimension before the variable that is packed after the variable unpacked so how i remember this packed and unpacked means see this after and unpacked a uh, a uh, right so the pronunciation a will come that's why how and this is how i remembered so if you understand the topic no no need to remember everything so initially i remembered the, like this only unpacked after after unpacked so if you remember this after unpacked so it, uh, and the packed is opposite right opposite to unpacked so if you remember unpacked the uh, another one is packed only so no need to remember so this is one thing so no need to remember like this okay because it's easy after unpacked like this you can understand so dynamic array we will see dynamic array now we have understood right what is fixed size array the size will be fixed throughout the simulation so when we come to dynamic array here the size can be set or changed during the uh, runtime simulation okay here the size is not fixed throughout the simulation okay and size is not declared um, initially the size will be zero initially the size will be zero when we call this new method then only size will be allocated an array whose size can be set or changed at the runtime simulation is called dynamic array and by default the size of a dynamic array is zero unless a new method is used so here in dynamic array if the if you want to store the elements we need to call the new method otherwise by default the size of the dynamic array is zero only this is the syntax for dynamic array, data type, array name and empty square braces. Here nothing will be there because by default the size of a dynamic array is 0. So here you have to write bit 7 down to 0 DRA. Okay, this is um, syntax and in dynamic array we have three methods. New method, size method and delete method. Size, new method is allocates the memory. Size method will return the size of an array. Delete method is used to delete the elements of an array. See here one example is there. This is the declaration and memory allocation is by using the new method. So new of 4 means it will allocate the size 4. It will create 4 um, memory location. Okay. So in dynamic array this is the only method how we can allocate the memory so when when we write like this dra is equals to new of 4 it will create the size 4 okay and initialization array means like normal array only uh, we will initialize so since we are allocating 4 size 4 we can store 4 values 0 1 2 3 okay so here see you can see see it looks like this when we initialize the value and when we allocate the memory now we will see how to resize in dynamic array so we know that how to size the array by using the new method see this is the declaration and this is the memory allocation by using the new method we can allocate the memory this is how we can size how we can give the size in dynamic array so now my task is see this is the initialization okay till now we have discussed these things allocation 
initialization and declaration we have discussed so now my task is i want to increase the size of the existing array only here d array is of four size now i want to increase this uh, size of the array okay in the run time and um, i don't want previous values okay then how i can do d array of new of 10 now again i'm calling new method previously it was four size now again i'm calling new method with the size 10 so when i call this i will get the size of 10 but the values 0 1 2 3 is lost i lost these values but size will be increased okay increasing the increasing the size by overriding the old values when i call like this when i write like this the size will be increased but i will lost the previous data whatever the data present i will lost so if i want to increase the size by retaining the old values how i can do this is one advantage in dynamic array so we can increase the size of the existing array with the old values see increasing the size by retaining the old values d array is equals to new of 10 till here it's same as this only after that in parenthesis we need to write the array name the existing array name d array right this name we have to write now we can retain the old values also and we can increase the size of the existing value uh, existing um, uh, existing array name okay existing array see here previously it was 4 this d array now i am increasing the size 10 so but it will increase the size the total size of the array is 10 and also it is retaining the old values see 0 1 2 3 it's retaining the old values and the size is also 10 both is uh, achieved right both the task is achieved so this is how we can increase the size or resize in dynamic array uh, so this is all about dynamic array so we will discuss the associative array in next session and we will discuss all this in coding part also in next upcoming videos thank you